Hi, we're here at the digital desk um, with some new lawsuits we have involving the city of Davenport and Matt Christensen is here to help us break those down. So what um, what is the lawsuit bringing to the table? Um, what is the lawsuit about? Yeah, here? so the new news here today is that we've had um, some suits filed against two attorneys that represent the city of Davenport and those are brought by two former administrative assistants in City Hall. Those folks, uh, those two were let go, um, not let go, but they reached a separation agreement with the city and um, uh, stopped working there. And as part of that, they received a settlement. Now, their settlement got released to the public by accident, according to the city. And now they're saying that that's caused them harm and they're suing the city as a result. Okay, so what does this mean for the city and the two suit, um, former employees suing the city? Yeah, it means a couple of things. The, um, the uh, two former employees are asking for, for damages and a jury trial related to um, the city's uh, release of their settlement records. Um, you know, I don't think I, uh, the city has filed a response yet as of today. Um, I'll check here again in a, in a minute or two. Um, you know, so it, it's still unclear what they're going to say, but according to the suit, um, this was in response to a public records request mm -hmm. that the city received asking for those settlements. And rather than keeping them secret, the city released those under the, uh, the FOIA request that it, it got. And uh, Torres, Samantha Torres, uh, and uh, 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 excuse me, are uh, are asking the city to uh, to, uh, to that they should have kept those things that those things should have been private. So, what do they want from this suit? That it, now this new suit. Well, they're asking for damages, saying that they've had emotional pain and suffering um, and um, medical expenses and some things like that. Um, you know, it's worth noting that this is certainly related to. Um, uh, a larger picture going on at City Hall that has to do with another settlement agreement, and that's, uh, you know, with uh, former city administrator Corey Spiegel. That, that settlement yeah. agreement was for $1.6 million. The uh, Torres and Thorndike settlements were for much less than that. The city has kept the Spiegel letter uh, private and confidential despite similar FOIA requests, despite a state auditor subpoena. Um, and, uh, you know, despite requests from the, me the media as well. Um, and Thorndike and Torres are saying, look, um, that same protocol should have been followed uh, for our settlements that you did with the city administrator settlements. Okay. So that's the new news today. Um, you know, we're uh, following it as it, as it right. happens. So this is in real time. So. so what are next steps? What are we looking for then? Next steps, we'll probably see a response from the city in, in some way, um, filed in, in, in court documents um, um, uh, relating to those two lawyers who uh, uh, Thorndike and Torres said we're involved in the release of their settlement. So okay. we'll see what the response is. We'll watch for that and I'll bring you an update when we get it. Perfect. Thank you, Matt.